So what I just did is I crashed it into a curb on purpose to bend the screws down a bit. And now, well, Ooh, that's, that's a bit harder than I expected, but okay. Now you can see it's And it works a bit better now. Right here. Right, right here. Sorry, I'm trying to film and drive at the same time, it's not easy. And my hands aren't big enough to film, or to drive one-handed. Well, I've had them mounted going across like that but it was interfering with the inside of the mechanism. So now I'm taking them off and remounting them like this. So I have the zip ties on now and now I'm just gonna mount it up. Let's do this. So right now I have the zip ties on the tires. Zip ties on all four tires. So the batteries just died on this. And this is what it's like. <coughs> Covered in snow. It's actually not that bad inside. There's the battery. Oh. Okay, well that worked out way better than I could have ever expected. Also, um, in case you want to make one, all I did was I took a piece of 4-inch PVC, cut it to about 12 inches long, and then cut it in half. And then the two front screws where the bumper is held on, 
just straight through there with longer screws and then have some spacers. I also want to mention that I'm going to have an update video on my Lego pistol pretty soon. This is the updated one. Oh, it's missing a piece right there. And there will also be a Lego Sniper 2.0 video as well.